The Hemohim works for cancer patient, okay? I have so many cancer patients within my, you know, group that got great result. I have Maggie, she just became diamond into my organization. So she had breast, stage three breast cancer. I was the one who bought that him or him to her house. She couldn't even get up to open the door for me. That's how weak she was. Him or him works on cancer patient, okay? So now she's on survival list. You know, after five, one week taking him or him, her white blood cell was uh, 0 0.5. Five. And after one week, the white blood cells came up to five. And the doctor was surprised. You know what I told her? Do not tell your doctor that you are taking him or him. Okay? So the doctor said, uh, after a week, uh, the white, the, you know, the lab came nice. After a second week, he called Maggie at his office. He said, Maggie. Tell me what have you done differently? <laughs> Maggie said, oh, because I already told her what to say. I already told her, do not tell the doctor you're taking him away. You know what she said to the doctor? Oh, no, um, I am eating much better fruits and vegetables. You know, I'm resting more. I don't get anxious, you know, I just relax. <laughs> go to the gym and eat better. Yeah. Doctor was question mark, big question mark. After three weeks, Maggie was on him or him, vitamin C, omega-3, all those supplements I put her. Doctor called her and then he said, you know what, after, from after today, I cancel all the rest of your treatments. Wow. Wow. You don't need no more chemo for you. Wow. And we move and call your surgeon and place a, a an appointment to remove the pot for the chemo. To remove the pot and no more chemo for you, I cancel all the rest of your treatments, like five, six treatments left, okay? And then, after, and then just follow up with me. After three months, Maggie follow up, they check, uh, CAT scan, MRI, nothing showing. After six months, nothing showing. After nine months, doctor said, okay, I'm gonna put you on survival list. Oh, wow. Wow. It does work, work. How many pouches did she take? Six, I told her to take. Two in the morning, two in the afternoon, two at night. But the thing is, I always say to people, do not wait until you get diagnosed with cancer before you get serious taking yeah. that him or him. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody must take it for prevention. Prevention is better than cure. Do not wait for your doctor to give you a diagnosis of breast cancer, colon cancer, brain cancer. Do not drink your him or him. Because some people, you know, the cancer, when you, get, you start get, getting symptoms, the cancer was already spreading, okay? So you don't know what's going on inside of you, right? Can you see what's going on inside of you? No. Breast cancer, colon cancer. Listen, you don't know what's going on inside of you. Young, old, middle age, I don't care. You put yourself on him or him. Because I love, cancer took my husband. I am very big on telling people to drink him or him. Okay? Because sometimes, you know, the cancer may be, when you feel symptoms like pancreatic cancer, it's already spreading when you feel pain, okay? So don't wait until you feel uh, symptoms, you feel something abnormal, then you go to the doctor, you already, you're done. And him or him cannot help people that stage four, that deteriorating, you, you, you don't have a chance, okay? Do not wait. All of you guys, drink him or him. Yeah. Yeah. Feel it, okay? Yeah.